Welcome back to Irish Fuddy Vlogs, guys. Delighted to say that I'm on my way to Sligo today to see Sligo Rovers and Shelburne at the showgrounds. It looks like it's going to be a good day as well. Brilliant stuff. The weather looks good. Uh, thanks to Sligo Rovers, Tommy Higgins in particular, for uh, covering my stay. Um, fantastic. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, definitely couldn't say no to this one, to be fair. So uh, thanks very much, Sligo Rovers, again for that. Um, Shaw Ground's a nice little ground, I'll get some images of it as well, it's a lovely little ground actually, it's one of my favourite grounds in the country. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to it now, looking forward to the match itself, Shelburne are coming to town. Uh, Damien Duff's side have been in very good form, unbeaten in seven games, Sligo have been doing okay, a few good results, a few bad results like a lot of teams in the league to be honest with you. Uh, always tough to beat the Shaw Grounds, Matt of course top scorer in the league with nine goals, uh, interesting to see how he plays. Hartman. As a player I like a lot. I've seen Sligo play twice a season live. Unfortunately, I missed him. So hopefully he's available today because he's a player that, when I see on the TV, play, plays really well. Um, but yeah, on my way to Sligo, see you there, guys. If you'd like to check your halftime raffle tickets. So guys, I finished Shelburne 3, Sligo Rovers nil at the showgrounds in Sligo and um, very flat performance by the hosts on the day, has to be said. Um, played poorly, missing a lot of important players, Morhan, Mata, top scorer in the league, Hartman and Mahan and they really struggled to cope in that sense, I think. Um, Shelburne, nothing unusual with the way they played, to be honest with you, you know what I mean, they set themselves up very well. Uh, very fit side, countered well. 
and um, you know control this game to be honest and deserve the three points fully. Jack Moylan with a hat trick, so fair play to him. I believe his first career hat trick as well. Um, you know they'd be disappointed slightly with some of the goals they conceded, of course, but particularly the second goal. I think my Nicholas should do better coming for that cross. But um, Jack Moylan scoring a hat trick, which is brilliant for him and. Um, you know, Shelburne now are unbeaten in eight matches. Eight matches. They've got a big game against Pats at the weekend as well. So that's going to be an interesting one. Sligo, they'll go again. They'll hope to get some of their players back from injury. Uh, they're still in the mix, in my opinion, for certainly top four position. On another day, you know, with players, some of their better players available as well, they could do well and, uh, and perform better. Shout out to the Driftwood, Evan Ross's point. Um, I'd highly recommend them stay there. Um overnight and um yeah i'd highly recommend it very nice spot indeed uh lucky with the weather as well so that was fantastic well cheers again to sligo rovers for accommodating me as well um really enjoyed the the, the stay there and the weekend in general and uh, they'll be disappointed that i didn't come down for maybe a better performance let's say because it was a poor enough performance as i said john russell said it was the worst of the season um you know, haven't seen literally all their matches, but I doubt they perform much worse than that. As for Shelburne, as I said, they'll keep on, keep going. Um, Damien Duff, I think, is doing a fine job there at the moment. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how they do on Friday as well. But uh, yeah, guys, leave it there. Subscribe, hit the bell notification button. And uh, thanks for watching. Nice one.